Uh, good morning, Andrew, and thanks for the time. China is definitely not over. It is a massive marketplace here that, as you said, has undergone a downdraft really based on regulatory issues. From an investment standpoint, corporations will continue to want to tap what the growth rate of the China market can give them. So they will continue to look at it. That said, it's going to take a while until we see regulatory clarity. Because what we've seen happen here right now, as you pointed out with Alibaba, we saw what happened with Didi, et cetera. Regulatory clarity will be needed so that people can understand what they are investing in. Because frankly, in the interim period of time, as you know, the Indian IPO market has exploded here. And to a certain extent, investor money has gone into that market for the moment here right now. So regulatory clarity, huge growth. Does that mean, though, I mean, to the extent that there are U.S. companies and CEOs who call you for advice about mergers and acquisitions and other deals, you say can't buy into China right now? I mean, you'd think, actually, given where, where the stock prices have gone, this is, these are the moments during, during when there is no clarity when you actually typically want to buy, if you can, if you feel comfortable doing it. But are you telling people to stay away right now? I think from an M&A standpoint versus an investor standpoint, two different issues. From an M&A standpoint, companies are waiting and looking to see. Obviously, there are some small private investments going on, but they want to wait and see. In terms of the equity markets, that's a completely different story. And as you pointed out, uh, if you can buy Alibaba right. going back three or four years, that may be attractive. Yeah, and you and I have talked about SPACs for quite some time. Uh, we were at the height of the market. Then there seemed to be a, a plunge in the market. It does seem to be coming back. And then yet earlier this week, we were talking about this lawsuit brought by the uh, one of the former commissioners of the SEC against Bill Ackman, raising all sorts of new questions about SPACs all over again. Where are we? Look, look the SPAC market obviously had tremendous growth last year. I, I think the number right now is over 400. The product is going to be around. That said, there may end up being some kind of a regulatory view here from the SEC. We've yet to see it. But I think the basic mechanics of the product will be there. But it may not be the kinds of volumes that we saw last year and into the first quarter of this year. Those kind of numbers, frankly, are unsustainable. But as a method of going to market, it will be another tool that people will look at, along with traditional IPOs and direct listings. And then finally, just since you are the barometer of confidence in the corner office, in my view, um, where do you think we are? The market's at all-time highs. Everybody thinking to themselves, I got to buy. I mean, typically, this is usually the worst time to buy, but it's usually when people feel like they have the most mojo. Yeah, but I think you have a few warning signals going on right now. Obviously, you know, the Fed has indicated that they're going to be pulling back here. I think you have inflation on the horizon. You have markets priced to perfection. The M&A market continues to be robust, but I think people are looking at this period and trying to be a little bit cautious as they go forward. I think we'll have a decent third and fourth quarter. And then I think the question will be, what do earnings look like in 22 and onwards here as we hopefully have a stabilized world? Okay. Leon Calvary, it is always good to see you. Nice Talk to see you, Andrew.